Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. Today we're taking a trip back to Point Place for That 90s Show Part 2. Why is Part 2 and not Season 2? I don't know. The numbering reset. It's not, <laughs> you know, we're back at Episode 1, so I don't know exactly why they went this route. No idea. But I'm excited to return to Point Place and get back in touch with these characters, see what they're up to this time around. And after we reacted to that teaser trailer, I didn't watch anything else after that because... Again, I would have loved to have had that surprise in the middle of watching this. The reveal that Jay and Silent Bob are going to be in this season is phenomenal. They are like an iconic duo of the 90s, and I absolutely adore those two. I've been a huge fan of the Viewisk universe since its inception. Even went <laughs> to go see a screening with Kevin Smith for Clerks 3, and that was wild. I absolutely had a blast. But anyway, it's just perfect. This is a perfect setting for them, especially given the subject matter that this franchise has always really dealt with. Can you call it a franchise at this point, this series, whatever. But I'm excited to jump back into this, so let's get ready to do that. If you want to see the full-length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Grammarable Channel, get you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will in your own footage to sync up the time codes from reaction to the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got month Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage, you're trying to make it worth your while, so you're going to be support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, we really appreciate the just reaction. At least if you like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And with that all said out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode one. You ought to know. Here we go. I will tell you though, I'm gonna have to relearn all these kids' names outside of Leia. I had more respect for you when you were the town slut. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's still kind of slutting it up here a little bit. He's really getting into it. People say I look like Keanu Reeves, only hotter. I said that. Wait. And I was kidding. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Ugh, when is Leia getting here? But I do get like the Keanu Reeves vibes, like Bill and Ted Keanu Reeves. Boyfriend gets first hug. I said first hug, not first hump. Well, I'm different now, Gwen. I want hugs and humps. So this is even the next summer. So like, why? Why is it not just season two? <laughs> like, I am understanding that, right? I did hear that right, that it was next summer. It's not like the next break, like winter break. Oh! Oh, right in the eyes. God damn, Kitty, you're brutal. Too bad Red already beat you to it. Look who got the first hug. Hey, Grandma, it's weird that you're kissing my neck. That's me. <laughs> so, who's How? How? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> so, who's going in my ear? I'm just breathing. You're not even, her nose, her mouth, yay! Donna. But yeah, none of those things made any sense except for Kitty having her hand on her butt. Logistically, none of the other things are physically possible. Fuzzy. Zip it, string cheese. Don't take it personally. He's trying to win Spice Girls tickets on the radio. Spice Girls, let's go. Dude, I don't blame him, man. Garth Brooks, are you shitting me? <laughs> Okay, I have two minutes for you. Come here. <laughs> I got time while this Garth Brooks song is on. I can't believe I'm finally back. Spring break was so long ago. I know. <laughs> Ugh, counting crows. Okay, so she visited for spring break. She's back again. I said you forgot all your tampons and sent them to the store. <laughs> Gwen! I told him you're size 28, so he should be gone a long time. <laughs> well, oh back, my so God. Really <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Last summer, you almost hooked up. Thank you. Clarification. He didn't tell his girlfriend, and now we're all stuck in a web of lies. <laughs> I am surprised none of this got out during all that time, considering how many of them know. Maybe try that new Froyo place. <laughs> Froyo's overrated. Ice cream or die. Never had Froyo. I can be cool about this. No, I can't. Everybody's gonna find out, and Nate and Nikki will break up, and Jay will dump me, and he's been so sweet and romantic while we've been apart. He even mailed me a lock of his hair. I hope it was Is from that... his head, because I kiss it every night before bed. You would know. You would definitely know. Keep smooching mouth shut and just be normal around me. I mean, I... Well, maybe she wouldn't know. <laughs> Nick, I want a cat and a fish. 
This is the only pet that's a two for one. Uh, what about a spider monkey or a horse fly? Oh my God, you're contagious. I mean, hey, natural progression of a lovely little conversation. She was quick on that too. Nate, why are you hanging back? Give her a hug. I would rather kill her. <laughs> Not sus at all, buddy. Not sus at all. Hey, hey there, sports fan. <laughs> My button is stuck. Oh. E Stop gyrating. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here with her on this one, man. Easy, Good God. Mate. She's not a couch. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I was just looking for the remote. <laughs> with a condom on? <laughs> There are out of 28, but I got 600 ultras and a tarp. What? Persick backing out of the driveway. <laughs> Makes he sense. Expect. He was born with the softest head the doctor had ever seen. <laughs> he couldn't wear a hat for the first six months. <laughs> what? I see mothers with uh, cute hats on their babies, and I think, must be nice. <laughs> There's still one little spot. Well, like how they keep coming it, up with sneeze like a puppy. <laughs> Ugh. What? Anyway, I like how they come up with very understandable and in character reasons for him not to be around. But I just wonder why he's so allergic to coming back, man. Sorry, you can't hang with my slang, Red. <laughs> not. <laughs> hey, she's learning, man. She's trying. Go and clean the gutters like you asked. Not. Oh no, man, so he's learning. Here, besides this conversation. <laughs> I got back into my model trends. I just finished painting. Nice. Now that uh, Mayor Brown, he thinks he's in charge. <laughs> I'm the king. Sure you are, Red. <laughs> the neighbor across the street died. Creepy Kowalski. Mm. He was always trying to get me to jump on his trampoline. I know, sweet man. I wonder why. It is the perfect chance for someone to move back to Point Place so her mother-in-law can stop resenting her for stealing away her baby boy. Don't get started with this. Moving away. Relax. Homewrecker says what? I mean, what? yeah, it was death. <laughs> Oh my god. Intentions. This is funny. Like getting Leia secretly baptized four times. Wait, what? We're happy in Chicago. I know no. you're right. This is just a silly idea that popped into my head. <laughs> really? A flyer for the house under my cookies? Location, location, location. It would be cheaper. God, she is Fine. She was then, still is. There is not a way that you can unalmost kiss someone. <laughs> I asked a lawyer. Look, you two. We've all done something we regret. Do you think I'm proud that I gave a cranker to that sophomore who looks like Frasier? A what? Holy crap, we cranked the same Frasier. <laughs> Do you know what your problem is? This whole mess is your Frasier and you two keep cranking it. You gotta quit cranking. I don't know what any of this, no, I don't, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> I don't wanna do anything with that little Frasier. What's she talking about? I don't know. Why am I related to him right now? She means that we need to talk. What do you wanna talk about? Oh my God. The Hindenburg? That was crazy. <laughs> No, us. I know you're burning it right now, but that doesn't mean, hey, Hindenburg. We have to take this to the grave. Yes. I don't want to hurt either of them. We're not saying dick. I don't, I still don't even 100% sure why it even happened. Three, two, one. We have to tell them. Yeah, as soon as possible. Damn, Damn. they had that down. That was faster than Tony Garvin. Dude, I'm a 90s kid, like and I don't know half of the half shit they're talking about right now. Could be yours. That shit was a godsend, though. If you had a George Foreman, you were living high and mighty, man. That was one of my favorite things about going to my uncle's. <laughs> I'm dying. No, you're not. <laughs> Whose team are you on, Red? I'm on yours, kitty. Team crazy. I'm crazy? I'm crazy? You're the one who can't sleep at night because you're tiny... Firehouse is on back order. Stop. Wow. Tiny. It's to scale. I'm starting to think Eric wasn't really car sick. 
boat. Who would have? Oh, yeah, the both of you. Uh, that one you're not using right. That one, closer, better. Yeah, I think about you all night and day. You made me feel the opposite of gay. Even though being gay is perfectly okay. Hey, it's better than Ramona. Well, it's, you know, the tune is better for Ramona, but it was a little more creative than that, at least. Jay, that was amazing. I loved all 12 minutes of it. 12 what I need to minutes. Talk to you about. What? Yeah, I've noticed you've been a little off at first. I thought it was because your period, because Gwen said it was a level seven. <laughs> It was an F5 period. I think I know the real reason. You do? I haven't been honest with you about some things that happened when you were gone. Wait, what? Oh, great. I flirted with this chick who works at McDonald's, but, you know, she was like 30. And when you're that old and busted, no one sees you anymore. <laughs> and I took advantage of that to get a free shake. And I am so Wait, sorry. so did he, did he just do it for the shake or did he mean it? Shake? Based on what he said, I guess. I pleasured myself to the love scene and Dances with Wolves. Never seen Dances with Wolves. It's really sexy to me that it was before deodorant. <laughs> what? Thank you for telling me. It's okay. I've got something much worse to tell you. I mean, because if you had something bad to tell me, I, I don't know if I would take it that well. I mean, e! I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm pretty sensitive. Surprisingly. <laughs> okay, your turn. I was just going to say that I did the same thing to Dances with Wolves. What have I done, Leia? This is their land. <laughs> Dude, that's your song. That's a commercial for the Point Place Credit Union. F-R-E-E, -E, that means free creditreport.com, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what that made me think of for some reason. I only did it because I thought we were all doing it. Like seatbelts. <laughs> I don't even want to talk right now. Why? Vicky, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry about? It's this stupid internship. My boss is St. Bernard kept trying to make out with me, and now I smell like Beethoven's butthole. <laughs> she doesn't know the message yet. We have to get to her house and erase it before she hears it. The smell is not coming off. I'm going to go home and shred this blazer. Uh, you can't. Your house burned down. It's, <laughs> it's all gone. Oh. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta sell the lie. Go burn her house down right now. Leia, go, 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 get the matches. Hey, bro. Jay, come outside with me while I think of a reason why. <laughs> Can it be to uh, compare biceps in the sun? Ozzy, you have to help me get into Nikki's house. Oh, right, you can't hear me. No, you can. No, I can hear you. I'm just not gonna help. <laughs> I think I ditched your wife. I put a spoon in the garbage disposal. I turned it on and ran. <laughs> that might I do it. I say it, but I think Kitty might have finally lost it. Yo, holy shit. Yeah, she can really take things too far. Uh -huh. That's actually it impressive. It takes me back to my youth. Everyone had a job. Milkshakes were a nickel. And if you like big butts, you had the good sense to keep it to yourself. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you, right? I had a lot of free time on my hands, and it was either this or day drinking. And then I figured, why not both? Wow. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And didn't you used to have a group of guys you play cards with? Larry retired to Arizona, and Bill bought a boat, and I haven't seen Roger since our last camping trip. No. Bear got him. What? Oh, well, there you are. An adorable family just stopped by to look at the house that I, I chased him down with a hose, so we're still on- Kitty! I told you I was done talking about that house when you handed me a loan application while I was peeing. Wait a minute, is that like an electric fly? I got one of those, like in the living room. You can get those on Amazon in bulk. I don't think those were in the 90s, but hell, maybe they, maybe they were. Maybe, I don't know. But it's that exact one. I literally got it just a couple months ago. Oh, rent. Mom, 
You were supposed to wait in the car. And you were supposed to be just grabbing a scrunchie you left at Nikki's, and then I saw you distract your dog with a piece of bologna and climb in a window. Is this for you and Nikki's boyfriend? How do you know about that? Have you been listening to my calls? Please, all moms do it. Yeah. Do you think I put you on the pill on a hunch? Yeah. <laughs> Nate left a message telling Nikki the truth and I have to erase it. And I tried to keep you out of it, but you asked too many questions and now if we get caught, we're both going to jail. Who's going to hold dad's hand at the dentist? <laughs> he gets so scared, mom. <laughs> okay, slow down. Last summer was a dream come true. I love having these friends. I love having a boyfriend who's like Keanu Reeves, but hotter. Uh, and but she actually the means it. The it all is to keep lying. That's not me. Let Nikki hear the truth. If this all blows up and I have to go home with you tomorrow, it's what I deserve. No, it's so mature. That is such a mature decision. And I know it wasn't easy. And I'm so proud of the woman you're becoming. No. She's going to delete it for her. <laughs> Aww. Have a good summer. <laughs> Wow, what a I power so move. Much. Next message. I yeah, that last message wasn't real. I was acting. I'm, I'm actually, I'm on oh, no. for a movie about a guy who almost kisses his best friend's girl. Message. <laughs> oh my god, how many of these did he leave? Yeah, it's actually not going to be released in America, so you won't see it. Take the tape, just take the tape. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Um, Kitty, are you okay? I knew this day would come. She I've eavesdropping? What is she doing? Oh, let's get you the help you need. Talk to the hand, Red. Donna's on the phone outside. <laughs> you are listening to your daughter-in-law's private conversation? Oh, please. All moms do it. Moving back to point wow. place isn't the worst idea. It'd be great for Leia. And I think Red's kind of lonely. Actually, I know he's lonely. His friend was eaten by a bear. <laughs> I love Kitty, man. Don and Eric are buying the house across the street. That is not. You're a sad old man. Isn't that great? Well, okay. Kinda. Great and you, no Mary. one said that other thing. I can't think of anyone more annoying than Eric. So what do you say? <laughs> oh. I got a full body wax scheduled tomorrow, but I'll cancel. It's back in bab. I'm coming in fluffy. <laughs> oh my god. No, oh, that's so sneaky, Donna. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I want pizza. How do you care so much? It's just the Spice Girls. It's the Spice Girls. Congratulations, you're our 10th caller. I won. Please hold for Freddy the Dirt. When I never should have doubted you. Everything's Don't do anything. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Don't Fuck this up. Did you hear that? Nikki and Jay are gonna be pissed. You know what that means. Oh no. I'm on the radio. Hopefully no. No. Why would you do that? They probably weren't listening. Oh. All right. Knock them off. Just, just, just push them off. Oh, or pull a Kelso. You're dead. Oh, and what a fun episode, man. It's just, it's just the same. It just like, obviously I, there's a lot of attachment that I, that just comes baked in with all of the years spent with the original gang, but the show feels the same to me. It just does. Like the cast is different. All that jazz outside of, you know, obviously the returning characters and stuff like that. But the vibes are all there. Just a new coat of paint. I find it like mind numbingly hilarious. Is it stupid sometimes? Of course. So was the original. Sometimes I, ju I just, that's just what you need. It's fun. I had a blast with this. It was cute. It was entertaining. It was adorable. It was funny. That was a great little first episode, getting us back into the swing of things the next summer again. Why is this part two? It shouldn't be. It's literally the next season in universe. Well, there's been a couple seasons since the last season took place. Why is this part two? Well, who in the marketing team was like, let's put a part two up there. Why? Let's just do it. 
Why? And why is part three later this year? Just season three, season two, or just season two, part one, and season two, part two, but it's all season two. I don't know why you're doing this. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with that. Again, would I love to see more Eric? Always. Why is he so allergic to the show? I don't know. Dawn is here. Mark and Bob's here. Get in. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> like everybody else, I could get it. I understand. Though so Jackie, Hyde, Kelso, all them, Fez, I understand them not orbiting around this house anymore. But Eric, you just, you're, just, you're just always going to have to like find a new excuse for him not to be, uh, not to be here. But that all said, I thought this was a great return. I had a lot of fun with it. There's the like references that I don't even understand. I don't know. I didn't have my nose in everything, I guess, growing up. Again, I do feel like they're, I don't know. I, question about that bugs. That, you know what? Fuck you. Hold on. This some bitch was in the background of that shot. Right fucking there. <laughs> Look at it. It's the same thing. I don't know when these came out. Who knows? Maybe the, it's been the same design for a hundred years and I've never seen one, but it maybe they're just trying to fill the backdrop, but that <laughs> I just thought that was weird because I just bought this thing brand new a few months ago. But you know, it, coming back to this shot too, Red taking up this hobby of building this, this miniature version of Point Place, like this old train set and all this kind of thing. And it's just really impressive, honestly a good use of his time to keep himself from going absolutely insane. Kitty is just losing it with nobody in the house, man. Like, woo! I love her trying to be hip. Like, it's like hit or miss on whenever she uses something correctly or not. Like, when she was like, booyah to you! Booyah to you! I was like, oh my god. Well, you tried. It's that fucking Steve Buscemi meme, almost. Anyway, Great first episode. It has me really excited to see how the rest of the season goes, especially with that secret just being outed here. At the the way that ended up going out, especially with the lengths that Donna went through to just try to shield her from having to make that decision. She was like, oh, that's cool. You made the mature decision. You were going to do this thing, but here, let me just stop that. I'll do it. You know, I'll do the bad thing so you can feel better about yourself. And then lo and behold, while Ozzy finally gets through on this call to win these tickets to Spice Girls, who, let's be honest, Spice Girls. I was obsessed with them at the time. I totally get it. I totally get it. But the way that all played out for her to say that out loud, not knowing that they were on speaker and that just hitting the radio waves, and then that's how it happens. Whew, that's gold. Also, classic having our gang fall off the, well, voluntarily fall off of the water tower. Good notes. Anyway, solid episode, solid introduction to this part slash season. I really do not want to call this part two. Anyway, what'd you guys think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for the channel because gives you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Mandy Sherry, your Corps, Scott Melito, Robert Anguiona, Jeffrey Hill, Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.